Hello everyone, my name is Josh Willis and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Aero Electronics and I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the Artificial Intelligence Machine Learning or the AIML board. We'll do a little unboxing and go over its main features and then go over the installation in detail so that you can be up and running in no time. For me, when I'm getting started with a board like this one, the most important thing is to have patience. It can be a steep learning curve, so take your time with it. What I like about this board is that in addition to most types of ML applications, it also has a wide variety of other features that make it a well-rounded general purpose board as well. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look at what we're working with. Inside the box, you will have the board, which has the SD card already installed, and that contains the firmware and demos. Before we go into the installation, I want to show you the key features that makes this board so amazing. It is a 96 board consumer edition extended form factor board with four A35 cores. It's the newest IMX8 family member, which is designed for both industrial and automotive, and it delivers a balance between performance and efficiency. Underneath it has the DDR4 memory, a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo module, four microphone array, and a variety of different connectors. It has a high speed and low speed expansion header, which allow a variety of 96 board compliant mezzanine cards to be used. USB 2.0 and 3.0 and OTG, as well as a debug USB port, an HDMI connector, power and reset buttons, an ethernet connector, and a PCIe connector to allow the addition of an LTE modem. All right. Now that we've gone over all the features, let's get it up and running. Before we get started with this board, here are some things you'll want to have on hand. First is the 12 volt 96 board power supply, a micro USB cable connected to the debug port, an ethernet cable, a monitor and HDMI cable, and a keyboard and mouse. For this particular demo, you'll also need a camera. We can use a webcam or one of the supported camera mezzanine cards that's listed in the user's guide. Today we'll be using the D3 camera mezzanine card. After everything's connected, go ahead and power on the board with the reset button, and you should see the light turn green, as well as the boot process in your, on your PC, as well as the external monitor. Some common issues you might run into is if this light stays blue instead of switching to green, that could indicate that the SD card has not been properly inserted or is not properly formatted. Another common issue is having an out-of-date image check the user's guide for the latest image and how to update. Another common issue to check for is that your dip switches are configured to correctly boot from the SD card. Again, refer to the user's manual for the different options. And if you're still having trouble, please visit the support forum at 96sports.org for further support. Now that we've got all that set, we can show you how to run one of the included demos. We will be launching the crowd counting demo. The next step is to run the setup script We'll launch it in the home directory with the command setup mldemo.sh. And this will take four to five minutes to run if it hasn't been done already. As you can see here, it's already been done on this board. So it tells me that the setup is already completed. After that has been done, we can navigate to the demo directory, which is in run media MMC bulk th P3 and then arrow demos and once there we will launch the demo with the run ML demos.sh command. It will then ask you a series of questions the first of which is have you run the setup script we have so we'll press yes we will then select our demo in this case the crowd counting number one and then we will pick our camera interface, which is the D3 mezzanine. At this point, it's initiating the demo and launching the program, and you'll see the result on the external monitor. The launching of the demo can take about one to two minutes. Once the demo launches, you'll see it default to a pre-captured mode, where it runs through a series of images of different crowds, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see how many people it thinks are in the given crowd, as well as the inference time it took to process that image. And finally, it'll show a heat map of each part of the image that it thinks is a person. We have the ability to change to live mode by using the external mouse and clicking live mode. 
That will then launch the D3 camera interface, as well as showing the new people count and inference time. As you can tell, it's optimized for large crowds, and so at low numbers, under 10, 20, it may not be as accurate because of this optimization. So here we can see that it thinks there's two of me. That should give you a good understanding of this board and its capabilities. On behalf of Aero Electronics, I'd like to thank you for purchasing our AIML board, and we'll see you next time.